Early voting is off to a running start here in Clark County, but just how many people are taking advantage of this convenience? Clark County says nearly 30,000 people voted in person Saturday for the first day of early voting. That beats the first day of early voting in 2020 for the last presidential election. It's no uh, negative part of it. It's all positive to go and vote early. Frederick Davis voted early Sunday. He just moved to Las Vegas last year, but is used to voting early. My uh, original voting place was in the state of Georgia, and I noticed that there, the lines over out there were really long. This weekend, Clark County polling places saw a steady stream of voters and many long lines too. Nearly 30,000 in-person voters cast ballots Saturday. And the Clark County Election Department reports more than 67,000 mail-in ballots have already been received. Early voting has been going on for a while, and I think it's becoming increasingly valuable and convenient to people. UNLV history professor Michael Green has been following election trends in southern Nevada. And as the number of early voters continue to rise in Clark County, so does the number of nonpartisan voters. Election Department data shows that there are over a half a million registered in Clark County. Their numbers represent a bigger voting group than either registered Democrats and Republicans. It took off more recently, and I think this reflects unhappiness with the Republican nominee, again being Donald Trump. And remember, the Democratic nominee was originally going to be Joe Biden. And I think people felt, you know, more of the same. If you're planning on voting early this year, make sure to check out our website, ktnv.com slash where to vote. Our site has a full list of each polling place, the hours they're open, and the days you can vote. Early voting officially ends on November 1st. Reporting in the South Valley, I'm Ryan Ketchum.